So here's how we can get rid of these red lines under words, the red squiggly lines under these words in Microsoft Word. A few ways, each has advantages and disadvantages. The easiest way is right click and spell it right. That does fix it. But sometimes you have a word like Fobbit. This is my friend's dog's name. And I'd like it to be not have this red line underneath it. So I can right click and I can put Fobbit in my dictionary. This will always show up correct now. So that's one way you can do it. If you want to get rid of all of the lines in all of your documents, here's how you can do that. You go to File, Options, and then under Proofing, we go down to the bottom, and we can click off Check Spelling as you type. You can get rid of the grammar stuff, too. That'll apply to everything. So let's say OK, and it's all gone. Things are still spelled incorrectly and there's grammar problems, but I don't see the lines there. But what if you want this just to apply to one document? Here's how you do that. File, Options, Proofing, we go down and I'm gonna put it back on again. But down here, exceptions for this document number eight I'm working in, I can say hide spelling errors and grammar errors just for this document. So now, this document here, we don't have any of those errors. But if I open a new document and I spell a word wrong, you can see it picks it up for this document here. So I can turn it off in just one document, and that might be real helpful. So if you've turned all these off, if you've turned spell checking and grammar off, you can still do that. You could still check the spelling for your document by going to review and then spelling and grammar and it'll still spell check the document for you. Here it's showing them all the ones that are wrong. So that's kind of helpful. Sometimes you just want to turn spell checking off so you don't see these red lines so you can think about what you're writing. But you can still, at the end, go back and make sure things are spelled correctly. I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.